Hi, it's Arsenal Props. Welcome to my workshop. I've been in props since years now, and I use a lot of different projects for this. Some of those projects are really, really essential to my work. I just couldn't work without them. And one of these projects is Apoxy Sculpt from Aves. Apoxy Sculpt is a two-part play that you can use to make almost everything you want. Personally, I use this for my props, of course, but also to make little details or ornaments and cosplay armors, jewelry. Uh, really, you can do everything you want with this. This is really awesome. And thanks to others, I have the chance today to try another project, Aboxy Clay. And to show you how to work exactly with Aboxy Clay, I decided to build a very, very little item, the Amulet of Stand Up from Skyrim. Just an inspiration, not exactly a replica. You will be able to see how it works. Let's go! This is how I received epoxy clay. I take a little amount of A part and B part and I roll it in my hands to be sure I have the same quantity for each part. Once it's done, I mix both together to get the final product. It seems porous but elastic at the same time. And it sticks to my fingers. Also, I can stretch it well enough without it rips. And now, let's try to add some details on the basic shape. I dip my cutter into safety solvent from Avas, but water does the job as well. As we can see, the material reacts well to notches made with the cutter. Using a seal stamp that you can also make with epoxy clay, it's also possible to create an accurate impression. And now it's time to work on the inspiration of the amulet of standard that I talked about at the beginning of this video. I start by modeling the basic shape I need without adding the details for now. Here, a horn. Once it's dry, after a few hours, I lightly sand the horn to remove any traces of fingerprints or other defects. I can now redo a small amount of product to add the details I want to my horn. I can also add any texture using the right tool, like hammered steel. It can be painted very easily with a primer, then acrylic paintings. And here is the final result after I turned my horn into a pendant. So, compared to epoxy sculpt, epoxy clay is, in my opinion, softer and smoother. The grain appears thinner even before mixing the two parts together. It seems ideal for making tiny details without the material rips. To sum up, I will use more epoxy sculpt to reproduce organic and non-geometric materials because it's for me more instinctive. Epoxy clay would be more easily used to achieve structured shapes and precise details. It's also about feeling, the pleasure felt during the work, but both projects make it possible to achieve, in the end, a similar result. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this. I want to thank Aves to send me this awesome project. You can also follow me to see more of my creations on the social networks like Instagram and Facebook. Just such awesome props. See you soon. Bye bye.